Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm sorry to keep you guys waiting so long for another video, but my cough did end up getting pretty bad and pretty serious to the point I couldn't talk without coughing. So I figured you guys didn't want to hear all that, so I went ahead and let that settle. But I'm back now, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to steer away from events this time. I know I missed the Super Ally recording that I was going to give you guys, but luckily we have another one in a couple days, so I'll be able to get some action shots going on and some recordings going on of that and be able to post that for you guys. So, yay! Now, again, unfortunately you guys have already seen everything, understand what's going on, but for those who haven't been in the event yet or for those that are just coming new to the game and would like to understand exactly what is going on because I know sometimes just explaining isn't always the best if anybody is like me you have to like physically do it to be able to physically and fully understand what's going on so next round I'll be sure to try to get a video it may not be the full hour of the event but I'll be sure to get some shots in once we get things settled and even during probably like the beginning I'll try to show you exactly everything and we'll go from there but uh, back on topic this video I'm going to concentrate on the arena now that we have all three arena events up I figured this would be a good time and this was also you know a suggestion by one of my members because I could not think of anything to do so we're gonna go do arena you have hero du hero dual survival hero dual glory and commander conquest hero dual survival and hero dual glory are basically stage one and stage two you cannot hit stage two unless you are in the top 500 of stage one so you cannot join glory unless you're in the top 500 of survival so let's go ahead and get into it um for survival if you look down here at the bottom we have you get three free chances the cool thing about survival is you tend to get these cards pretty easily i've heard out of people that they have racked up you know 500 600 of these cards in, on an account I only have like a hundred and some but you can rack them up so even after you use your free your three free cards you do have more chances to continue to keep leveling up or you can just save them now when you first start this up it should be every uh, reset into Monday UTC time you will be reset rankings will be reset you will be handed your seasonal rewards along with um, your regular daily rewards for your ranking but when you jump into this after it's reset if you come down here it will automatically bring you to the screen so you don't have to click anything as soon as you click into survival this will pop up you put in your team and your formation and then you just click save team and go back to the screen I was just in tip with this one is there's two major formations that you can go for with this you can either do a stun member in the middle or you can do a healer member in the middle I personally go after the stun because it, not only is it, you know, okay, yeah, healing your members are good. But I find it more helpful the way my team is set up to stun the members and make sure that the other guys can't get the rage that they need to be able to attack. A lot of people also put healers in the middle, which, like I said either is a great way to make sure that your guys you know are healed and then you also have people like Diana who I've seen in the middle as well which is good just for the fact that 
she not only gives you a buff, unfortunately, if you're far enough a debuff, she takes away all the buffs of the other team, which is super helpful because even when you're trying to build rage and just doing the gems, you're still getting those extra damage points as well with that. So there's multiple different formations that you can do, but typically healer or a stunner in the middle is best choice. So you go down here, you go ahead and click save team, at least for me it's save team. You will have a history button here. I'm not going to click and show my history right now because I already went through one. But you can click on that and that shows you everybody that you've been against. If you lose against somebody, you will have a little revenge button next to that person's name that you lost to. And you can click that and you get a free revenge sometimes or you can you have to use a card for a revenge. I I'm, haven't looked into what makes what. But there's that. Simple, easy. And, okay, so if you click the redeem, which is up here at the top next to the rewards. If you click redeem, you will have the Matthew fragments and Gina fragments. Great way to get those two people for fragments is this this is the only other way aside from the uh, hero hall you got your four star selection card you got your superior recruit coins your truces and then your one hour speed ups for all of them i typically use them for speed ups because i don't need them for anything else now for all three of the arenas you get to redeem different things. They all have a different shop. So be sure to check out each of them. Which I can show them all as I go through. And then you have your rewards. Which shows you down here. Your rankings. What rank you if you hit. You get your coins. And then you use them in the redeem shop. And then you have your season rewards. Which if you're rank 1. You get X amount of coins plus a frame. I believe it's seven days, yeah, seven day frame. So that's pretty cool. And obviously if you're on top all the time, you ain't got to worry about it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, you can't just click on these people and expect to, dear lord, you skyrocketed up there. And expect to be able to just hit them. Right there and there. You have to get lucky. So you click the challenge button. Typically based off of your ranking. And your power will base off of who you are against. So you just keep, click, keep clicking refresh opponent. Until you find somebody. And then you click the free button. I'm going to go ahead. And you can click on their name or their picture just to see their lineup before you jump into it. So you get a little bit of an idea on that one. Because once you click the free, you can't back out unless you abort. And that still wastes one of your things. In a sense, it wastes it. At the same time, it doesn't because you still get the food rewards. Which is super helpful. Alright, so um, no offense, it's just... You're the first one that popped up, so if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Part of the game. Don't hate me. But go ahead and click the button. It does show their lineup up top again. If you needed a reminder, along with their power versus your lineup and your power. And then you just click challenge and you challenge. So pretty easy, pretty simple. I'm going to be nice and abort. Let them win that one. So, as you see, I still got my arena uh, supply chest, which you do when we get X amount a day. So, don't expect that every time. I got my food rewards, and I also got my speed up rewards. So, either way, win or lose, you still get good stuff. So, don't, don't concern yourself over winning or losing. Just have fun with it. That's all it's there for. So, next one. So, that's basically the gist of that one. Next one is Hero Duel Glory. Like I said, this is basically the second stage of the Hero Duels. You have to be in rank 500 or above in uh, Survival to be able to participate in Glory. Again, same concept. 
the only difference is this one, you have three lineups. Now, not only do you have to think about, you know, the order information of the one lineup, you got to do it for all three, and you also got to do it for the order of the lineups as well. So it's a little bit more challenging. Um, you can sit here and say, okay, we all know him. There's Tweety right there. For instance, he's set up to where he has this lineup. He's got, yeah, he's got his strongest first, the second strongest, and then his third strongest. Sorry to call you out, Tweety. So if I wanted to, I could sit here and put my first strongest first to match up with his and then do a second strongest. That's what these arrows over here are. They made it quick, simple for you. So I can switch them, put my strongest first, and then click save team. I always double check just to make sure strongest is first now. And then I can come back and challenge. So pretty simple, pretty easy with that. Again, same concept. You can refresh, go through, figure out which one you can go against and beat. And whatnot for the Hero Dual Glory Rewards. A little bit different. As you can see, there are no heroes for you to collect here. Instead, you get your chips. You also get your unit chip, which is um, all the troop stuff, like troop HP, troop defense. You get your enhancers, you get your beast XP, and your beast cores for domestic and military. So, this one's more based around kind of leveling up the side things, which I will make a video of all that stuff, you know, about the chips and the courts and the uh, mods and engines and all the other y yada yada stuff. So, let's go ahead. Like I said, that's basically the same exact concept as Hero Survival, so there's really not much to explain other than, you know, it's three different things and you can switch them up as you go. Um, so let's go ahead and go down to Command of Conquest. This is a bi-weekly arena event. It is not up all the time like the other ones are. This one is based off of your troops and your heroes that you put with it. Now, uh, let me actually click on somebody. Um... No, he's number one. Let's just do that. Alright, so, as you can see, you have my team all the way over here. And then you have his team, which is all right in here. It's going to be based off of your troop stats, the type of troops you have, and the heroes that you have put in with them. So, as you can see... If it's a green arrow up, that means you are stronger. If it's a red arrow down, that means you are weaker. So you don't even really have to look at the numbers if, unless you really want to be statistical about it. But if you're just going through real quickly, just kind of glance at it and check it out and whatnot. And then you're good to go. Um, it is also based off of your troop capacity. So like how many you can send out on a hit. Which you can see I'm at 155, he's at 262, so yeah, ain't happening. Be smart about it. Unless you want to try to boost somebody up and, you know, automatically lose and let them rank up and you're purposely doing it, try to play a little bit smart. So, same concept, you challenge. Uh, let's do. Again, if you're watching this, no hate. You got your setup here on however you want to do it. Challenge. And you also get your food and, excuse me, by the way, and your speed up rewards as well for it. So, simple, easy. These are a little bit more um, special rewards just because it is a bi-weekly event. You obviously have all your food rewards or all your resource rewards because words you get your random teleports which you can only get 10 you get your advanced recruit coins 
which are unlimited. You get Yuri fragments out of this one, which is a five star hero. You get 3,000 diamonds. If you prefer, you get 10 five star hero selection cards and 10 four star hero selection cards. <coughs> so, this is a good one to go ahead and do and make sure you do gain points. Now, for your coins that you get from this, even if the event ends for the week, I don't know why it's called Clan Conquer. Okay. The coins that you do gain from this do not expire. So even if the event ends, they do carry over to the next time that this event does pop up. I'm calling it an event. It's an arena event, technically. So don't be afraid or don't think you have to use all your coins right then and there. If you want to hang on to them and just like do a, you know, once a month bulk buy the second time this comes up, you know, go for it. It, it'll the coins will still be there so like i said you got seven days uh for a reset commander and conquest is every other week but the other two are typically on every week so and then if you click redeem shop right next to the arena up here it can just automatically take you to the shop clan conquer shop ends in nine days it gives you those extra three days to be able to buy whatever you want Take the time to be able to think what you need, what you want, and go from there. So, pretty simple stuff. But that is Arena, which is right, right here across Hero Hall. And I will do another video about Hero Hall and Heroes. You know, how to redeem points and get recruitment points to be able to get new heroes or fragments for other heroes and stuff. So... Got a bunch of different videos I'll do as far as stuff inside the base and then I'll kind of work my way outside. Again, I'm going to try to get that video up of some action going on in the Super Ally War. I'm going to try to get some more action of Hub War going on if I actually get a chance. That's coming up this weekend. And then next time I did also miss SVS as well. I'll be sure to explain that more in detail and get a video of action of that as well so lots to look forward to hopefully we get it going and till next time chat with y'all later take care happy gaming